it's true. I do look more and more haggard every time you see me, right? It's because I haven't shaved in a couple days. You know, all this mask wearing. I don't need to shave at work. <laughs> Nobody sees your face. But I'll probably be clean shaven next time you see me. Uh, in a couple hours, 2020, in a couple hours from the recording of this, 2020 will be gone forever. It will be, it will be in the record books, the history books. And oh, what a history we are leaving behind. And oh, what a future we are looking forward to. <clears throat> so, um, just before I went to work today, uh, I read, I noticed the U.S. ambassador to Armenia. I don't know her name, but she made a statement, um, a happy new year statement to the people of Armenia. And it was, you know... Nice words, happy new year. Problem with that expression is the word happy. It's like, well, this last year wasn't that happy. Uh, and we don't really even have any idea what's in store for us in this new year. And so I guess there's happiness that such an awful year is behind us. But, you know, to hear the U.S. ambassador, it, it's like pablum. It's like, I, I, like I said, I get mixed emotions. Okay, I'm not being very articulate right now, am I? What the heck has the USA done for Armenia and Artsakh this year. Well, I think Pompeo has done some good. And our president has said some things, some the right things. But I, I'm... Uh, there's just this, still this big question mark. It is... Is Joe Biden going to be the president? Is Donald Trump going to be the president? This article is not about them. It is not about that. It's it's about this article, this episode. Okay, it's been a long day. I'm tired. Uh, yesterday's uh, video... I talked about, I'm looking at the big picture. From a God's eye view, I, I, I have a view of the future that is optimistic. If you lived 500 years ago and you looked at what we experience today, if you had a glimpse of what we experience today, people would be like, that's incredible. The future is incredible. Right? They would go, that's incredible. You you sit in vehicles that move. You just push a pedal and they move. And you can communicate with people anywhere on the planet. You can see them. Right? They'd be like, the future is incredible. And there's other things. For example, before this pandemic, poverty was evaporating. Poverty was actually disappearing. Poverty the, the poverty rate had been cut in half, like people living under the poverty rate had been cut in half within the past like 20 years. The environment was greener, like 5% greener in the past 10 years, right? So all of this environmental conservation and attention to wait, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't abuse the environment as we use it. We're supposed to use the environment. We're supposed to, we're supposed to burn oil. Right? We're supposed to burn coal. We're supposed to do these things, but we shouldn't abuse them, right? We should burn coal until we can get the entire world's population up to a out of poverty because it's the cheapest fuel. 
I won't go on that rant, but technology reduces pollution, right? So if you can get the third world countries up to a level of technology where they're advanced and you're going to have to burn some oil and coal to do it, you get them to that point and then naturally the burning of oil and coal diminishes because technology becomes more pervasive. Technology reduces the need for fossil fuels. You don't eliminate fossil fuels because you're destroying the world. No, you get human consumption to a level where it will naturally diminish. But if you if you ban fossil fuels, you're condemning humans to death, right? The poorest nations suffer the most. And that's actually the agenda of some people. Some people believe less people on the planet, that you just have to let them die. You have to kill them. Genocide, right? That's one way that you can fix what we're doing to the planet, right? It's sick. It is a sick mentality. Humans, as they advance and innovate, become greener. The planet is greener today than it was 10 years ago. It is. Stop being afraid. We're doing the right things. All right, that's bandwagon stuff. So I have this view of the future. If you go back 500 years ago, they, if they see today, they're like, wow, the future's incredible. And I believe 10 years from today, things, there will be incredible things happening, but the geopol geopolitics will have to correct itself. And I believe it will. I believe, I believe China, the communist dictatorship is going to collapse in on itself. I believe that Turkey and Azerbaijan and their power grab, it's, it's just transparent. It's like, you can't hide it anymore. And as people pay attention uh, those power grabs because of information technology majority sentiment will force issues people will start realizing oh we've been lied to we've been lied to we've been lied to and then wait what's the truth if we've been lied to people start realizing when they're lied to there is a truth out there and they seek it that's just the natural tendency once you see truth you can't look away all right